I feel Archangel Gabriel coming in along with Archangel Michael to give us a very important message. So I'm going to capture that here, film it obviously, get it out to all of you. If you don't know who I am, hello, I am Michelle Patterson and this is Angel Souls. So I am an angel medium slash spiritual intuitive. I also help with spiritual wellness. There are ways to work with me if you watch this and you decide you want to do that. You can get a reading, which is a standard reading. Those are available over at angelsouls444.com. If you want to work live one-on-one -on -one with me for a live reading or a live teaching course, those are also available by emailing me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. The courses that are being offered, I can teach you angel mediumship that is not like regular mediumship that people think of. Very different frequency. I'm teaching that in a four-part series. And I am teaching connecting with your angels. As we come into these times, towards <laughs> these times, yeah, we'll get there. Um, <laughs> hang with me. Uh, as we get towards the end of the year, let's say, then we start to begin the last part of the destruction phase. We'll talk about that as well here in 2024. We will have the presence of Archangel Gabriel around quite a bit. So if you don't know, Archangel Gabriel shows up when we need clarity. All right. So Archangel Michael helps with that as well. Gabriel is associated with messages. If you're a writer, be working with Archangel Gabriel, but also nurturing. Okay. Nurturance, nurturing the emotional self. So associate, uh, Gabriel's associated with the throat chakra and the sacral chakra for those reasons, okay? So when we have Gabriel coming in with Archangel Michael, there's this beautiful balance of, yes, there's, because um, Michael's known as being very strong, it's all about clarity, being very logistical, mechanical things, you know, we can go on and on about that. These archangels cover a lot of area. So, uh you know, when you have that combination of these two, it means there's something hard that we need to be very, very strong for and yet not lose our humanity and to make sure we're taking care of ourselves as we go through this process. Now, if you're sitting there going, whoa, 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 back up, what is this destruction phase that we're talking about? Go back and watch my video on the 2020, 2024 chunk of time, right? That's the destruction phase that I'm talking about. It's on the front page of my YouTube channel. Okay. I recorded that, uh, well before, uh, the pandemic, well before any of that got going. And, um, it was weird even for me <laughs> to go back and see what was coming up at that time and how it played out. It was wild. So we have the final year of that coming up in 2024. So that will have implications for the entire world obviously, and for you as an individual, right? So everybody has their own soul contract that they're working with. And then you have the backdrop of, again, the world, the world stage, and how your energy is either interfering with, that was the word that came out first, interfering with others or how they might be interfering with you, where there might be distortion or how you can harmonize with one another. So again, this is this is what's going to be becoming... I think more obvious for people. And this can get you in a place that you feel very lost. And I just feel like either I love or hate people or <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Gabriel comes forward and helps us to cope with that uh, and to have compassion. Archangel Raphael helps with that as well. So if you guys don't remember or haven't seen any of my videos, when I do channeling, Channeling is very different from mediumship. Channeling is the idea of you go into a complete meditative space, a very, very deep um, meditation, okay? And then, I don't know, words are escaping me today. It's a great day to film, but this is the schedule, y'all, okay? So I apologize, right? <laughs> we'll get through this. But you get into a theta brainwave state, very deep meditation. And it's sort of, we, we hear it described as the person steps out of the way in my case, it would be an archangel that would come in and speak through the vessel. I know these sound so great, right? Uh, but that's not what I do here in front of people. Why? Channeling can look really creepy. It can look really creepy. And it can be, um, I feel, for me personally, it can have a lot of interference with electrical 
equipment. I have a camera here. I have lights plugged in. You know, it's a whole thing. But that's just me. That's not everybody. Mediumship is being present, feeling the messages, hearing the messages, seeing it and interpreting it for you by meeting them halfway in their energetic field, right? So their uh, guardian angels are fifth dimensional. Archangels are more seventh dimensional beings. I make sure I raise my frequency so that I can understand. Plus there's ways that they communicate with us humans, right? That make it so we can get it. That's what that whole uh, angel mediumship course is all about. So usually I get prepped for these messages days ahead. And all I kept feeling was, and you can laugh at me being human, and I wonder if you're the same way as I say this, comment down below if you are, but I felt Archangel Gabriel coming in and immediately I sort of snapped to attention. Okay, what is Gabriel doing here? Do you have a message for us, right? Not just for me, but for us, because that's what I do, right? There's no message coming through. And I was like, well, then why are you here? And Gabriel, <laughs> the, the sense that I got and the feeling that I got was, you know, angels and archangels don't just appear to sort of tell you what to do. As a matter of fact, they never tell you what to do. That would be interfering with human free will. Little side note, that's how you know that someone isn't talking to an angel. If they're coming in and saying the angels are commanding you to blah, blah, blah. They don't do that. Okay. But, you know, the, the message from Gabriel was, you know, sometimes I'm just here for comfort. And I know you've needed this comfort. We know what's going on in the world. And I'm human like everybody else, right? And so I'm sitting and asking, what about these prophecies? What about the apocalypse that, that gets spoken about so much? And the best way I can explain it, when I bring up any sort of human buzzwordy type things, there's deep love and understanding as I present that. But the feeling that I get back, I don't have a better word for this. It's not good. <laughs> it feels squishy. Okay. It's like this little, little spongy. I don't know. Like it's not terrible resistance, but there's a little bit of gentle, like, okay, well, it's, it's never as we see it. So we hear the word apocalypse and we think end times, horrible events, most likely, which we're already experiencing. And to some extent, yes, obviously we see some very blatant activities. <laughs> Can we call them that? I don't know. Or happenings, events that have been in numerous prophecies coming to pass right now. I brought my attention to the Middle East. And I wanted to know, basically, when will these horrors stop? What is going on here? And then I get that gentle kind of put, like, don't worry yourselves with this. That doesn't mean you don't care. Okay. That when they say, don't worry yourselves with this, it's because they're responding to, in my case, the anxiety I had around that and the grief and the fear. Angels are there to help us. Angels and archangels are here to help us. Not just by telling us what's going to happen next. I've always said that angels and archangels, they're not fortune telling beings. They're not, that's not what they do. But if something is okay for us to know, if it's not going to interfere with our energy field too much, they will then bring in the information, right? This is why people get very frustrated. I think when they are trying to work with angels, they want the info now, but it's not time for us to know. So again, I was putting out there, you know, when, when are these things going to stop? And there was a sense of comfort and love that came back to me. And I'm offering this to you because I would encourage you to go into meditation. Uh, even if you think you can't connect with angels, you can. Actually, that little course that I have is more about us humans learning to receive the message. You talking to them is not the problem. That's all you need to do is ask them to come on in and help you out. And to shield yourself and make sure you're not listening to other beings that are trying to pose as angels. I hear this quite often, going on a tangent here for just a second, but I hear this quite often where people say, oh, you know, my angels are, they act like this, this, and this. And that's not how angels act. Unfortunately, some of them are talking 
to a different type of angel. It could be their spirit guides that they're just naming as an angel. There's been a lot of different examples of different things, but we've got to be careful here, okay? So I like to say angels and archangels of God's purest love and light. If you don't like that, it sounds too catchphrasey cool okay it sounds like a cliche you say whatever you want just use high frequency words okay if you don't like the word god i don't know what to tell you okay i use the word god here but i suppose you could use uh source creator all of that but even with things like the word creator you know somebody who's on the dark side they have a different version of the creator and it's the same word. You feel me? Okay. So anyway, <laughs> just watch your intention. Watch the energy and, in, you, know, you know, again, the intention that's going behind that and what you're putting out there. Cool? So this is what I'm giving you here. So Archangel Gabriel's coming in and I feel like, and I'll get back to this apocalyptic thing here in a second. But as soon as I start talking about that, there was, I think, a need to pass along a message to be working with Gabriel at this time. I can help you with that. Uh, you don't, you do it on your own if you want. Watch videos. I've got thousands of videos over the span of over a decade on my YouTube channel. You can watch those. If you want to do a deep dive, again, you have offerings or you can go to another angel medium, uh, whoever you resonate with. It's more important that you feel comfortable, that you feel like you can open up. Okay. So yeah, like I said, you have options, right? So working with Gabriel and letting Gabriel comfort us. I know. I that that's beautiful. That's so lovely. We'll breathe it in, okay? Cuz I know I'm guilty of not stopping and allowing the comfort to come in. Not allowing the help to come in. Because where was my focus when I asked that question? I don't even want to put the words in this video, but let's just say the incident, okay, that's happening in the world. And many other others along the same lines happening all over the world, all over the world. The atrocities. Yeah. Gabriel's helping me out with this. You can say the atrocities. So as we're coming first from a place of allowing ourselves to reset, strengthen ourselves, this is going to be very important. We have to keep, we, this is just how we put this. You can see it any way you want, but keeping our frequency high. What does that look like? That looks like if you're overworked, giving yourself a break. If uh, the boss is being awful to you, spiritual work can help with that. Absolutely. Okay. Some of you were like, yeah, you can <laughs> whip out the herbs and the candles and you whip up a little something to make them stop, you know, or, um, I don't do that. So what I would recommend is getting clarity. This is where you would work with Archangel Michael. Okay. So Michael can come in and help you be brave and strong and to sort of restore the solar plexus. So this is your self-esteem, how you express yourself, uh, how you put yourself out into the world, believing in yourself, but also having clarity about another person, not in an invasive way. Remember, we cannot interfere with human free will, but more in a, you know, if somebody's standing there yelling at you, maybe the realization, the clarity is, that's that person's problem. Them being angry is something they need to work on. I don't need to be fearful. Okay. Or if you are in front of somebody, God forbid, who by, by all of our standards, most likely is someone you should be afraid of. You figure out how to get yourself out of there safely. You'll get clarity about how to remove yourself. Now, as I say that, Please do not be the person who says, Archangel Michael is going to protect me. Therefore, I can go into any dangerous situation or Archangel Michael is going to protect me and he's making me a warrior. So I'm going to mouth off to that abuser who then retaliates. That's not what we're talking about here. Okay. The clarity might be, 
I need to get a plan to reach out to someone, some resource around me to help me get out of this situation. I'm talking about domestic violence. Um, the clarity might come in the way of a solution, how to protect yourself. Okay. Now, remember, as I'm doing these messages, I'm allowing things to just come out. Part of that is based on who is watching. So, and who really needs a message right now. So it's likely that some of you are in uh, a potentially dangerous situation with which you need resources around you to help you. Remember, just calling on Archangel Michael. Yeah, that's helpful, but you're still in a human body. Okay. So when, when things start to come your way, when things start to present themselves, like, hey, here's this resource that can help you to remove yourself from that safely. Here's a really good therapist who is going to help you process everything, psychologically process everything that you've been through. And then you can do your spiritual practice along with that. That is Michael working with you. Okay, so just be aware of that. There are prophecies uh, that are coming to pass. This is a holy place, obviously. Like I'm, I'm trying to like buzz past this because a lot of you probably like you've done a deep dive on, you know, whatever religion's perspective is. That's, you know, beyond the scope of this little YouTube video, right? But we'll just say that the, the place holds a very sacred energy. And even as I say that, me as a human, I'm saying, I'm thinking like, well, if it's sacred, we have this idea that if there's a sacred space, nothing can occur there. There, there can't be conflict. And this is where Gabriel's coming in again and saying, do not worry about trying to make logistical sense of this because you won't. You won't. There is a force at play here that has been playing out since the beginning of human beings. And that is, in fact, coming to a culmination point. And the victors will not be who you think. Let me get this for us. These things are not going to stop until we heal how, like, I'm feeling like there's like in our ego consciousness, right? I always talk about we have a third dimensional ego consciousness, density, duality. That's why we're in these dense bodies, right? That, th there's something that's trying to like play out here. And we know we're always trying to work towards balance. But as long as people always think that there is a side to take, then we'll always be off the mark. I don't know if this is going to help us, but I'll just explain what happened here. So if you want to imagine a circle and there's a line down the middle, one half is black, the other half is white. So that is the duality consciousness that we are in right now, right? And a lot of us can't exist in the center because there's too much distance now. It's getting pushed and pushed and pushed. And so we're kind of getting sucked into one side or the other. The way it is actually supposed to play out or the way that we would learn effectively our lesson is if that circle were in quarters yes and then on this side there's black and white and white and black and obviously they would all be connected and somehow again I don't know if I have the proper language for this obviously that's more balanced but and more connected but it's like, can I say checks and balances? I don't know if that's the way I put this. But again, it's not, we're not in this pure unity where we have just sort of blended together. That feels like a process that might happen well beyond the time any of us are alive, okay? But for now, that's what we need to understand. Now, if you did not watch the video I did on Israel and Palestine, Go back and watch that. Again, all of these are right on the front page of my YouTube channel. If they're not there, just hit videos. You can scroll down and see the one that you're looking for. But in that video, I was getting such a message of 
one, it's in the way it was presented to me is that it's quite simple. B, if you're not really choosing a side the way we have been presented the sides, you're looking at what is really going on and knowing that innocent people are being harmed. That's where the spiritual warfare comes in. And if you're the super logistical person, that's cool. Be that. Okay. But don't come in here discrediting what's coming forward because you need to know this too. You can call it whatever you want. You can put it in the language that feels better for you. Maybe you feel like I'm too dramatic. It's fine. <laughs> but but there there is something for all of us to understand here. Okay? So be the the spiritual warfare part of it. This is where we think the problem is political. We think it's religious. We think it's about cultures and, you know, geopolitical things and oppositions and it's not that not really what's really working through all of this it's a dark energy that is trying to reclaim power okay because it's on its way out that's good news it's on its way out but it's gonna go clawing screeching breathing fire i don't know <laughs> but definitely clawing and screeching on the way out I just got a feeling about how this is going to affect some people. Well, we see people short-circuiting, for sure. Um, screaming about things that they don't even they don't even know what they're talking about. On both sides, they don't know what they're talking about. And one side claiming the other side's lying. You know, we could go into this all the live long day, okay? The point is that... If we are taking care of our own energy field, this is why Gabriel is coming in and saying, hey, let me just comfort you for a minute. You don't have to be uh, on all the time. You don't have to be, you, you know, watching out for everything all the time. Uh, a big part of our contribution is the energy we we hold, right? The energy we hold in our own energy field and how we allow ourselves to connect to others right and when we think of something the energy we put towards that and this goes into let's talk about energy projection in a way that can actually be helpful when you think of someone who's going through an atrocity and it's not just in the middle east there are atrocities all over Africa. Every, I mean, you choose any place in the world. There's something going on, whether we're overtly aware of it or not. So when you think of what someone is going through, you naturally, if you're an empathetic human being, you might feel grief. You might feel helpless, hopeless. You might feel depressed. Okay, now that is not a diagnosis. And people laugh at me all the time. If you're a spiritual practitioner... There's such a want to stop this kind of work. I mean, you can say I'm paranoid all you want. I've lived it, okay? I am not a psychologist. Nothing I say here is meant to replace psychological help. Thank you and good night. Okay. So, you know, as we think of these people, you might start to pity them. This is what, you know, when you're solid in your own energy field, naturally, you'll go there. And that's okay. You don't have to deny yourself a human experience, right? Let's say you're, fear, you're fearful for them, you're pitying them. All right. Pinpoint that, identify that, and then pop out of that. That's where Michael comes in, working with Archangel Michael. So you might breathe into it. Let that, you'll feel it. You will feel this uh, fear subsiding. You'll feel courage and purpose, you know, this sense of... Um, I don't know. I don't want to say being powerful because we humans have done so many things to that word, right? But you, you feel like not all is lost. And bring Raphael in. Raphael helps heal the heart space. And he's all about love. And with all that help, if, if this is how you want to do this, you can do it your own way. That's fine. But with angelic help, instead of pitying, you're sending love and strength and protection and it's not just physical right intending that it be physical mental emotional and spiritual 
Now it's that spiritual part where people can't get close to you if you're in a bad situation. It again, use your head, okay, be discerning. Don't don't just think that you can do whatever. But that is if we have any shot as humans, especially in most cases humans at a very long distance. That's how we can do our part. You hear this spoken of I'm most familiar with uh, Christianity, um, but this is where people say, I'll pray for you. Now, yes, have certain self-righteous people who are working with darkness. Oh, yes, they go to church. I said it. I'll say it again. Those people go to church. They go to every kind of any faith. You will have darkness. It has infiltrated. Why? We're duality consciousness beings. We're made up of both. So it has an in. But the ones who are self-righteous and want to judge people or project their fear onto others, they might, in a very condescending way, say, I'll pray for you. And I'll do the same for you. I've, I've been through this. I was on a trail out in Colorado and this lady, it was literally like, have you heard the good word? Jesus loves you. I'm like... Yeah, my relationship with God, Jesus, the whole team out there, it's good. It's strong. Okay. <laughs> strong. I don't need the lecture. Anyway, uh, this lady kept continuing on. I She asked what I did for a living. I don't know how that always comes up, but it does. And um, I don't know. Like, I think they might sense something is there, but they don't know what it is. Uh, so I told her and she got scared. Like as if she were in the presence of the devil. And I'm all like, girl, if you see a devil, you tell me because I'm out of here too. We'll run together. Like, stop. Stop projecting that onto me. The devil is her fear. It's the devil in her. Not everyone, nobody's perfect. And not everybody is as righteous as they may present. We know that. This is not new information. But think of me as your sister standing with you. I know I need to remind myself of that and let me remind you too or give you validation on that. This is going to go on for a while and it feels like it's so nuanced and so complicated, obviously. Uh, But it's not going to be the the victories that we think. The victors are not going to be who we think. And it's not going to end until a certain shift It's a spiritual shift that needs to occur. And I'm hearing another time because I was asking another question in my head and I heard another time because I was asking like, well, what happens to people when they do choose sides? Most people are doing that because they truly believe in their hearts that that is the support that needs to be given. And who knows, maybe in this space time continuum that is true you know people need to help this side or that side or whatever so I I just posed that question in my mind just now and it feels like it's not time to understand all that okay so there's that basically this week um if you you know maybe you watch this channel but you don't really communicate with angels yourself um that's okay then you go to your place of worship you go to wherever you feel a connection to the divine whatever you call that and don't go begging god please please god please god please god please god you know no get yourself energetically straightened up before you go in there i know this is i i kind of you know i'm my name's michelle That is the female version of Michael. I definitely carry Michael energy. And it's not always appreciated, I think. But, you know, I get scared too. Of course I do. Of course I do. And it's not always easy for people to um, take that and transmute that fear into action. Or, well, there's a step in there between you before... What am I trying to say? Taking fear and transmuting it into action. There's a step in between and that has to be compassion and love because if you jump from fear into action, we have what we have now. Okay. So 
do what you can to take in the loving part or it, it's all it's all loving when it comes to archangels but your ego consciousness is going to try to make it something it's not for example archangel michael energy um trying to take that energy in and justifying doing something horrible to someone because i'm being a warrior and i'm standing up for the right side of things therefore no no that's not how that goes okay you are working with your own inner demons and that's uh, that just made me feel like that's what we're talking about here that's what's waking up in all of us i'm not saying you're possessed <laughs> maybe you are I don't know I don't know your life okay but again just more speaking to us having dark and light within us and us having to contend with the darkness because even as we witness this even if you're watching these things that are happening around the world from a distance it's still causing something in you right I hope I'm saying this I'm saying it as well as I can in the moment it's a big topic so if something wasn't clear Remember, all of these videos are just to sort of crack open the discussion and leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know if there's something I need to expand upon or I got you thinking about something. How are you experiencing this message? What did it do for you listening to this? And then give it a week, come back and watch this video again and see if anything has changed. Again, if you want to work with me, either go to Angel Souls. 444.com. Oh, by the way, if you made it through this video, I have a little code up. I'm sorry. I know here's the, we just went and did this whole deep thing, but we're still in 3D reality. This is what we got to do. So, <laughs> so I put up a discount code. I did. So it is grateful 25. It's only good until 1159 on November 21st, 2023. But if you use that at angelsouls444.com, you get 25% off of that reading. If you email me and you want to do a live reading, I don't do this usually. But yes, if you mention that code as you email me, we'll, we'll knock the money off of the, that amount off of the price of a live reading. It does not apply to courses. That's a whole other thing. But if you want to get a reading to try to crack open this energy for yourself, again, you can do it on your own if you want, if you're comfortable doing that. It's just if you want to work with me. Okay, so we will leave it there. I think I have enough time. I'm going to do a separate video with a quick card reading. See you there. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye.